always work safely by turning your grinder off from the main switch. Slide the hopper gate closed and remove the hopper to depress the safety switch. Disconnect the heating element from the main body of the grinder. Then, using a PH2 screwdriver, remove the four screws holding the upper burr carrier to the Mythos head. Remove the upper burr carrier, taking care of the heating element and giving access to the burrs. Use a PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws holding the front clip plate. Using the incorrect screwdriver could damage the screws and make them difficult to remove. Here we see the clump crusher fingers have been damaged, so it will need to be replaced. Use your pick tool or compressed air to remove old coffee grounds from the screw head. Taking your PH1 screwdriver, insert into the screw at a perpendicular angle, once again taking care not to damage the screw head. Once the screw is removed, you can now remove the clump crusher chute and clump crusher. On the left we see the damaged version, while on the right we have an unfolded clump crusher ready to be inserted into the head. Take the chute and unfolded clump crusher and insert directly into the Mythos head, taking note of how the fingers bend. Viewing from a different angle, you can see the clump crusher being folded into position. Insert the screw into the chute, making sure the screwdriver is perpendicular to the Mythos head. As the screw is tightened, you can see the clump crusher starting to bend into position. Do not over tighten the screw, but make sure the chute is secured properly. Using your screwdriver or pick tool, press the clump crusher fingers into position from inside the chamber, making sure they move freely and do not overlap each other. The fingers should sit horizontally, covering the exit chute. Replace the upper burr carrier and heating element, and insert four screws to secure the burr carrier to the Mythos head. Finally, tighten the screws one at a time to ensure the burr carrier sits flush with the Mythos head. Now it's time to test the grinder. At the top, we see the clump crusher installed correctly and the fingers working hard to break up any clumps. Below, the clump crusher fingers are already bent outwards, therefore not having enough resistance to break up the clumps. Reattach the front clip plate to the chute, making sure the screws are only finger tight so as not to damage them. And that's it. Your Mythos One will now offer consistent dosing, even extractions, and delicious espresso. Enjoy.